The Miami Hurricanes are already in hot water with the NCAA, and they are officially the first program in the country to be hit with NIL sanctions. They're the first program in the country to have NIL violations and NIL punishment handed down from the NCAA. We all knew this would happen. This is not a shock to anybody. This is not a surprise to anybody. Uh, not even related to NIL, which we'll get to in just a moment. But the fact that Miami would be one of the first programs or the first program in the entire nation to do something that breaks rules shocks no one. Whether you're a Miami fan, a Miami hater, or just a casual college football supporter, you know that Miami cheats and this shouldn't be a shock to you. We all knew that when NIL was introduced, that loudmouth, obnoxious guy down south who can't control his Twitter fingers would end up getting in trouble. And we told Canes fans again and again and again, and now it's finally happened. News broke today that the NCAA was imposing sanctions because Miami booster John Ruiz had an impermissible meal with the Cavender twins before they signed with UM. And then, of course, what did he do? He ran to social media because he can't control his Twitter fingers and posted it and blabbed it all over the internet. The NCAA wasn't too fond of this, and they didn't take very kindly to cheating and then broadcasting it all over social media. The NCAA handed out some penalties due to the infractions. And while some of them are a little minor, one is pretty big. First of all, the head women's basketball coach, the sport that the Cavender Twins play, was suspended for three games. A fine of $5,000 and 1% of the women's basketball budget was also levied. There was also a reduction in official visits and recruiting days that they can use. Here's the big one, though, and we'll talk about it right after we give some love to our friends over at Gramco. TheGramco.com. You can use code TJ25 if you want to get any kind of Delta 8 products that you might be looking for or in the market for. Again, the gummies are what you're telling you guys about. You can get some of the best gummies on the market, 25 milligrams, so they're much stronger than what a lot of the other competitors sell. You can get, again, blue raspberry, watermelon, fruit punch, or that sour green apple is absolutely phenomenal. Use code TJ25 at checkout. They've got a small sample pack that you can get for six bucks with the code. If you want to try it before you invest a lot, go for it. If you've tried them before and you haven't ordered in a minute, make sure you get your orders in, thegramco.com, TJ25 at checkout. Here's the big sanction that was imposed, and I think it's going to affect much, much more than just women's basketball. The entire athletic department, from football all the way down to the Olympic sports, is now on probation, according to Adam Lakestein. These penalties overall may not seem super severe, but the fact that their entire department is now on probation is massive. It's a signal. It's a warning to the Canes. It's a signal to Mario Cristobal. It's a signal to their AD. It's a signal to John Ruiz that we will not allow cheating. Stop cheating and do things the right way. You know that if this is going on within women's hoops, it's happening other places within that program. Do you think that John Ruiz and Mario Cristobal are just sitting idly by and letting women's hoop be the only program that gets to skirt the rules? Absolutely not. And this probation is a massive red flag and warning sign to the Miami Hurricanes that you better straighten up and you better get in line. The NCAA, a lot of people thought was dead. We've talked about that, that the NCAA is powerless and the NCAA can't really do anything and who cares or this, that, and the other. Well, they come back with a pretty solid warning for not only the Canes, but all of college athletics that they can still certainly be involved and that they will be involved going forward. Now they're on probation for a year and they really can't have any other screw ups, especially not in football where that microscope is laser focused. Contrast this craziness with what goes on at Florida State and the way that Florida State is running their NIL right now. Both Rising Spear and the Battle's End are doing everything in their power to operate things the right way. I know because I've spoken with those running both organizations, and I know that they're in constant communication with FSU's compliance and athletic departments to ensure that they're not getting both student athletes, coaches, fans, boosters, alumni, or themselves in trouble. 
Florida State does it the right way. And Mike Norvell runs a program the right way. Mike Norvell is not all about preaching culture and character and heart and effort and all those things just to cheat on the back end. I don't know if the same can be said for things down in Miami, but I do know that there's only one university that's been punished by the NCAA for NIL infractions. And again, that's the Hurricanes. And that happened today. We told you guys this would happen. And not to play the I told you so game, but we told you. It was so painfully obvious that this was going to happen. How in the world else do you think Miami was able to pull in a top 10, a number seven recruiting class with a five and seven record? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. They've always been shady from baseball stuff back in the day to basketball to now women's hoops. And of course, you know about the violations they've had in the past in football. If Miami can find a way to cheat, they're going to try and take advantage of it. And they did that here with NIL. They're super shady. And this is a lesson to not only them, but the rest of the NCAA, that you have to be careful when you're using this NIL. This is a new frontier. It's been listed as the wild, wild west. And we know that the NCAA now is focused and laser focused on programs that try and skirt the rules and programs that try and do things that are wrong. I'd love to hear your thoughts. This is one that I'm going to play the I told you so game on. I'm going to laugh in Kane's fans' faces because they were so excited about being on the forefront and leading in IL. And now what they're on the forefront of and now what they're leading in is NCAA violations and NCAA sanctions, not only for their entire athletic department, but obviously their women's hoops program, who has now seen a coach suspended, a budget reduced, and recruiting efforts now being minimized as well due to those sanctions. If you enjoyed laughing at Miami, we certainly did enjoy having you here. Uh, Miami getting in trouble is something that we'll always laugh at on this channel. If you wanna see a video about the dumpster fire going on in Gainesville, you can click this video right above me. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We'll keep you updated on all things NIL and anything that Miami or Florida have going on wrong, we'll keep you updated there too.